everyone welcome back to my channel today I have part two of my kitchen reveal this is where I'll be showing you our butler's pantry and food pantry so let's jump straight in now this next section is our butler's pantry or breakfast nook breakfast area and I'll give you a little overview first so here we have the sink and then shelves going up there. And then down here. So for this first cupboard, all that's under this cupboard is all of our charger plates and placemats. Um, they're all circular so that you know they fit in there nicely and that cupboard's not being used for anything else. Then in the cupboard next to that, we have just our uh, sandwich maker or toast sandwich toaster. Uh, that's a coffee plunger and grinder. And then our Nutribullet with all the attachments. And then this bottom shelf is like for all stuff for parties. So like all party serving bowls and trays. And then there's some plastic ware and things like that there. Napkins and that in that big box is our little fry pan set. So that's in that cupboard and then in this cupboard here we just have all of the cups and mugs in there and then some um, replacement shakes and then at the bottom we've got our glasses and then that's all Michael's, um, what do you call them, milkshake makers or protein shaker containers I don't know I hate them whatever they are I hate them then on here on the top we have our vintage looking toaster and kettle which were both from Kmart we have our little sugar tea and coffee canister set which was also from Kmart we have our coffee maker here in the corner and then a little plant and a little um, cup that holds all of our spoons and that plant was from Kmart and the coffee sign I think was from like a reject shop one of those two dollar shops then we've got our napkin here and that little green bowl there just when we have a coffee we just put the used pod in there until we fill it up and empty it and then that little container has got nothing in it at the moment so on the next shelf we have a little basket with all our different teas. We have our small side plates next to that. Then we have a little teapot and cup set which we use for our jasmine tea. And then that's some sprinkles and um, chocolate powder for the cappuccinos. Those are some cupcake holders that I haven't got anything in, in at the moment but I plan to um, decorate these like seasonally as well so like when it's Easter have some like Easter eggs in there when it's Christmas some like candy canes so stuff like that then we've got some more plates here and this one contains all our coffee pods in there and then that's just two of my favorite mugs and then we've got two bigger tins here one for the bread and one for the biscuits and then at the very top there we have a cute little Le Petit Cafe sign. Then I have my little chandelier. And then there's a couple of baskets at the top there that are empty at the moment. I've just got a little hanging plant there that was from Ikea. Another little coffee sign. And then again, there's a couple of other um, lolly jars that I'll be decorating seasonally as well. So that's our little breakfast bar area and then in the pantry I'm not going to go over it too in depth because I have done a pantry video but I'll just show you some of the different things that we've changed since living here um, that is just yeah we've just thought it's sort of a bit easier so in these baskets at the bottom now we're actually putting groups of foods together so say this basket here is my curry basket so everything to do with making my mum's curry which I've also done a video on 
and any other sort of curry packets or curry mixes will go in this basket here. So if we want to have curry one night, I can just come straight to the basket and go, all oh, right, we've got everything we need, we can make it, you know? So um, it, I just thought it's easier to group group items together. So like here again, this is our sushi basket. So when we make sushi, we've got all the spices, the sauces and things like that. And we know what we need to get or what we already have. And it just makes it easy. We can just take the whole basket out and, and make the sushi. So then now I've got here one for the pasta. Obviously we've got no sauce. So then I know, okay, if we want pasta, I've got to get sauce. So yeah, I've, I've got a few empty ones there. So I'm thinking one of them will probably have like Mexican. So like tacos and um, chili con carne and stuff like that. So all the sort of taco shells, taco sauces, um, seasoning mixes, they will all go in that one basket. And then if we want tacos that night, that's ready to go. So yeah, that's sort of my idea with the baskets at the bottom here. And then these two on this end, We've just got one with different soups and then another one with the two minute noodles which my kids go through crazy so yeah um, that's mainly the biggest difference I think I've changed I've got at the bottom here so we've just got I'll take you quickly through we've got spare drinks at the bottom then those three bins now have got all our snacks in so like we've got crackers in that small one We've got the big packet of chips and popcorn and things in that one. And then that one would normally contain like the smaller packets of chips that the kids take for their school lunches and that. And then down here we've just got extra dog biscuits and then that grey container is where we put the open packet of dog biscuits in. So then that shelf there, like I said, it's just going to have groups of foods in and I've just got three spare baskets there not being used and then we've just got a spare box of wheat bix here so then on the top here we've got one basket that's going to be for like all the chocolatey type snacks then one for sort of like lollies and things like that that one again is spare and we've got a couple of containers here that we've got crackers seeds popcorn nuts cereal a couple of spare ones and then some tea and then this basket here is all like extra tea things. These are all our breakfast spreads. And then that's all our um, porridge and oatmeal. Then up the top here, we've just got all our everyday use type things. So like sushi rice, pasta, quinoa, jasmine rice, sugar. That one needs a label, that's actually salt. Um, and then there's some extra things there, rice soup mix. We've got some empty containers here and then these baskets here we've got that one's just sort of going to be sort of like one for random tins then we've got baked beans then we've got all our condiments and like any overflows so like if there's extra chili paste or sauces that haven't been opened in there and then that's all our tinned fish and tuna and stuff like that then that next shelf is all our baking stuff so everything to do with baking and flowers and stuff like that bread mixes cake mixes and we've got a spare basket there and then that one's all uh, himalayan rock salt my my heart the only reason we got so many is because woolies has it um for sale for like two dollars or something two dollars a bag and my husband thought that like that's such a cheap price that <laughs> we bought like four of them thinking that they've made a mistake and that they're going to put the price up to like six dollars or something like that so yeah he's an idiot <laughs> but yeah then up the very top there because i can't actually reach any of that that's where my husband has all his protein and um yeah i don't know all that sort of stuff um they're, they're the ones i should be having but yeah no nah. Um, and that's all his stuff and then again at the top there and those containers that's all his stuff as well an extra Panadol stuff and that one there I think is for the animals or the like worming tablets and things so yeah that's just a little quick overview of our pantry the way we have it now I think it's actually a little bit 
neater looking than it was when I first did it as well. Um, but I'm pretty happy with it now. And like I said, you know, like as you live in the house and you know, you can work out what works for you and what doesn't. So this for now, I think is actually working for us a bit better than our original one. So I'm pretty happy with that. So yeah, that's our kitchen set up. Now I've still got to, we've still got to put some light fittings in here. I'm thinking chandeliers again, <laughs> my husband not so much. And same again up there, I haven't got a main light for the kitchen yet. And that one there, that light, I actually want to put one of those Hampton style, um, sort of like an oblong shaped one that's got sort of light bulbs in it. I really want to put one of those there and then maybe some sort of chandelier looking one there over what will be our family type area. So yeah, this sort of area I'm still working on. Um, I've got to give all the tables and chairs another coat of paint and you know, a bit of a sand down and clean. But yeah, we're slowly getting there. And that, I can't wait to fi fix up that area. That's gonna have, I'm gonna get one of those Ikea white lounges for this sort of area so that then we can watch, we've got our TV set up there. We can watch a bit of TV from here as well. Well, that's basically a little overview of my kitchen. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm nearly all the way through to the house. As you can see, I've just got down that hallway to go, which is my craft room on that side and my main bedroom on that side. So <coughs> there's only really two more rooms left to decorate um, as well as this area. And yeah, then I'm pretty much nearly done with the house. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Have a really lovely day and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.